about the one time at the Mar Maricopa County, Arizona's 10th prison, he televised from there. He also had a program once where he had both Todd McCormick and Woody Harrelson on to discuss the medical use of marijuana. <laughs> Important to me, and I know to a lot of the rest of you, is this. Bill doesn't just talk to talk, he does walk to walk. Uh, Todd McCormick is someone who's dearly beloved by many of us, and Bill Maher has been a one-man lifeline for Todd McCormick for the three years he's been in prison. To get a vast majority of people in this country to admit publicly or support publicly the idea of decriminalizing the one drug that never kills anybody. But, uh, but the reason why it is hard, I think, is as David was pointing out very well, there is a vast silent majority, and I do mean silent, and it's up to us in this room who have commissioned ourselves to lead this battle to a All this research with us that so many of our illnesses are coming from the lack of omega-3 and 6 that are found in hemp, flax, primrose oil, and so forth. But our earth really needs us to grow hemp. It's just extremely important. As the plant grows, it nourishes our soil. It takes carbon dioxide out of the air. And God gave us hemp. He did not give us pills, and we have a right under the uh, Constitution to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And hemp makes people feel very happy because it balances your autonomic nervous system and it puts your brain waves in the alpha state. And that's where God would want you to be. The healing of the nations will come through the leaves of the trees. Mm. So the churches are just need to teach the truth that the Bible has stated to us. And as teachers for God, both Love and I teach and share the Course in Miracles.